Robert Anthony De Niro Jr. Born August 17, 1943, is an American actor, producer, and director. He is particularly known for his nine collaborations with filmmaker Martin Scorsese and is the recipient of various accolades, including two Academy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, the Cecil B. DeMille Award, and a Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award. In 2009, De Niro received the Kennedy Center Honor and received a Presidential Medal of Freedom from U.S. President Barack Obama in 2016. Born in Manhattan in New York City, De Niro studied acting at H.B. Studio, Stella Adler Conservatory, and Lee Strasberg's Actors Studio. His first major role was in Greetings, 1968, and gained recognition with his role as a baseball player in the sports drama Bang the Drum Slowly, 1973. His first collaboration with Scorsese was Mean Streets, 1973, where he played small-time criminal, Johnny Boy. Stardom followed with his role as young Vito Corleone in Francis Ford Coppola's crime epic The Godfather Part II, 1974, which won De Niro the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. For his portrayal of Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, 1976, and a soldier in the Vietnam War drama The Deer Hunter, 1978, he earned two Academy Award nominations for Best Actor. De Niro portrayed Jake LaMotta in Scorsese's biographical drama Raging Bull, 1980, and won the Academy Award for Best Actor. His first in this category. He diversified to other roles playing a stand-up comic in The King of Comedy, 1982, and gained further recognition for his performances in Bernardo Bertolucci's epic 1900-1976, Sergio Leone's crime epic Once Upon a Time in America, 1984, Terry Gilliam's dystopian satire Brazil, 1985, the religious epic The Mission, 1986, and the comedy Midnight Run, 1988. De Niro portrayed gangster Jimmy Conway in Goodfellas and a catatonic patient in the drama Awakenings, both 1990, and a criminal in the psychological thriller Cape Fear, 1991. All three films received praise for De Niro's performances. He then starred in This Boy's Life, 1993, and directed his first feature film with 1993's A Bronx Tale. His other critical successes include the crime films Heat and Casino, both 1995. He is also known for his comic roles in Wag the Dog, 1997. Analyze This, 1999. And Meet the Parents, 2000. After appearing in several critically panned and commercially unsuccessful films, he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in David O. Russell's 2012 romantic comedy Silver Linings Playbook. In 2017, De Niro portrayed Bernie Madoff in The Wizard of Lies, earning a Primetime Emmy Award nomination. He then starred in the psychological thriller Joker and Scorsese's crime epic The Irishman, both 2019. De Niro and producer Jane Rosenthal founded the film and television production company Tribeca Productions in 1989 which has produced several films alongside his own. Also with Rosenthal, he founded the Tribeca Film Festival in 2002. Six of De Niro's films have been inducted into the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being, culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Robert Anthony De Niro was born in the Manhattan borough of New York City on August 17, 1943 the only child of painters Virginia Admiral and Robert De Niro Sr. His father was of Irish and Italian descent, while his mother had Dutch, English, French, and German ancestry. His parents, who had met at the painting classes of Hans Hoffmann in Provincetown, Massachusetts, separated when he was two years old after his father announced that he was gay. He was raised by his mother in the Greenwich Village and Little Italy neighborhoods of Manhattan. His father lived nearby and remained close with De Niro during his childhood, nicknamed Bobby Milk because of his pale complexion. 
De Niro befriended many street kids in Little Italy, much to the disapproval of his father. Some, however, have remained his lifelong friends. His mother was raised Presbyterian but became an atheist as an adult. While his father had been a lapsed Catholic since the age of 12, against his parents' wishes, his grandparents had De Niro secretly baptized into the Catholic Church while he was staying with them during his parents' divorce. De Niro attended PS 41, a public elementary school in Manhattan. Through the sixth grade, he began acting classes at the dramatic workshop and made his stage debut in school at age 10. Playing the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz, he later went to Elizabeth Irwin High School, the upper school of the Little Red Schoolhouse. For the seventh and eighth grades, he was then accepted into the High School of Music and Art for the ninth grade but only attended for a short time before transferring to a public junior high school, is 71. Charles Evans Hughes Junior High School. De Niro attended high school at McBurney School and later. Rhodes Preparatory School. He found performing as a way to relieve his shyness, and became fascinated by cinema. So he dropped out of high school at 16 to pursue acting. He later said, When I was around 18, I was looking at a TV show and I said, if these actors are making a living at it, and they're not really that good, I can't do any worse than them. He studied acting at HB Studio and Lee Strasberg's Actors Studio. Nero also studied with Stella Adler of the Stella Adler Conservatory, where he was exposed to the techniques of the Stanislavski system. As a young actor, De Niro was inspired by the work of Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, James Dean, Greta Garbo, Geraldine Page, and Kim Stanley. De Niro married actress Diane Abbott in 1976. They have a son, Raphael, a former actor who works in New York real estate. De Niro also adopted Abbott's daughter Drina De Niro from a previous relationship. He and Abbott divorced in 1988. Afterwards, he was in a relationship with model Tukey Smith between 1988 and 1996. De Niro has twin sons, Julian and Aaron, conceived by in vitro fertilization and delivered by a surrogate mother in 1995. In 1997, De Niro married actress Grace Hightower. Their son, Elliot, was born in 1998 and the couple split in 1999. The divorce was never finalized and in 2004 they renewed their vows, in December 2011. Their daughter was born via surrogate. In 2014, he and Hightower moved into a 6,000 square foot, five bedroom apartment at 15 Central Park West. Four years later, it was reported De Niro and Hightower had separated after 20 years of marriage. De Niro has four grandchildren, one from his daughter Drina and three from his son Raphael. On the 19th of April 2021, De Niro's lawyer argued in a virtual divorce hearing presided by a Manhattan judge that her client is working at an unsustainable pace in order to support Hightower and pay off all his back taxes. Hightower's lawyer claimed that since the pair filed for divorce in 2018, De Niro had been unfairly decreasing the agreed-upon payments to his estranged wife. Health. In October 2003, De Niro was diagnosed with prostate cancer. He underwent surgery at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in December 2003. Residency and nationality. De Niro is long-term resident of New York City and has been investing in Manhattan's Tribeca neighborhood since 1989. He has properties on the east and west sides of Manhattan. He also has a 32-hectare, 78-acre estate in Gardiner, New York, which serves as his primary residence. In 2006, De Niro received Italian citizenship, despite opposition by the Sons of Italy, who believe that De Niro damaged the public image of Italians by portraying criminals. Stance on Vaccination in 2016, De Niro initially defended the inclusion of a controversial documentary, Vaxxed, at the 2016 Tribeca Film Festival. 
He explained that his interest in the film was from his personal experience with his autistic son, Elliot. The film was withdrawn from the schedule after consultation with the festival organizers and scientific community. In February 2017, De Niro took part in a joint presentation with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., chairman of the anti-vaccine nonprofit Children's Health Defense, to discuss their concerns with vaccine safety. De Niro has stated that he is not anti-vaccination, but does question their efficacy. Assassination attempt. In October 2018, De Niro was targeted by an explosive device. The device was found at the Tribeca Grill, which also houses his production company in Manhattan. According to the FBI, similar devices were sent to high-profile politicians including Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, former Attorney General Eric Holder, and former CIA Director John Brennan. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.